Hello, this is Ben Meisenheimer, and my tutorial that I looked at was called Photo Stitching, and they did a vertical stitch. And I'll explain a little more. Um, but to do this, it's basically you're taking two photographs of the same landscape of similar horizon, and you're blending them together. So, let, first of all, let's open up our two pictures that we want to blend. So, as you can see here, it's the same place, but I don't have this part of the picture over here, and I want to add it to it. I want to add all this to it. So, to do this, and I mean, it's not going to be perfect because your signs I mean no matter how much you manipulate it you're not going to be able to get these signs in this light pole perfect but um, the main thing is you want to get your horizon line lined up once you have that level on both of them they go together pretty good so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to filter lens correction I have already put this grid on here. Um, let's see. And I can't remember how I did it. Um, you don't have to have the grid, but basically, you select this and it, it rotates the photograph. So you draw a line and then it makes the line level. So I want to. This line right here looks good. So I'm just gonna click here like this. And as you can see, it's off a little. Photoshop will correct that. Um, you lose some pixels, it zooms in, I noticed. Um, but it's not too much. Let's do the other one. Maintain this same line right here. And it zoomed in also, so we're really not going to be too bad. Alright. So now the next step is you want to select the photo that you want to be your base I want this one to be underneath because this tree is kind of cut off so I'm gonna make this my bottom one so I want to increase my canvas size so to go to image canvas size um, I'm going to increase it to 91. I'm just going to double it approximately. Select OK. You get a transparent background. Now you can move this wherever you want. And as you can see, you have double. Because we're going to be overlaying the other photograph onto here. So you won't use all of it. So we detach this from the uh, dock there and just click and drag it onto here. Next we select that layer. You have two layers. Select that layer and turn down your opacity so you can see behind it. Now basically you just want to line up if you see right here, these tr this tree line, you can line those two up. They look about the same uh, size. But another thing I noticed, the sidewalk. You maybe want to line that up instead. It's okay if you add to the trees. It'll look, it'll look just fine. Mm 
This looks perfect. So you got your sidewalk here. And now the next part is pretty cool. So now basically you want to get rid of this this seam right here. And I mean it's not perfect science, you just gotta play with it. Um, but you can pretty much make it look um, like there's no line there. So what I'm going to do is, let's see, I'm going to turn my opacity back up. I'm going to grab my eraser tool. And basically, um, just going to kind of erase some of the parts that don't look quite right. That doesn't look too bad. But you can kind of connect those back. I like that. That looks pretty good. And I, I mean, this isn't a perfect science. You just got to play with it. It doesn't always look exactly right, but you can, you know, you can get it pretty, pretty decent. And there you go, that's pretty much it. Um, the next thing you do, now that you have this big picture, is you go to your crop tool. You wanna just cut out and enter. You go over here to your uh, layer options and select flatten image. Boom, you got one picture. And I mean, you know it's changed, but I mean, the average person, when they look at this, I mean, they really have to zoom in close and look at the pixels. I mean, you can see it, but at a distance, you know, if you printed this out, I wouldn't be able to tell just walking by it and looking at it. I mean, you really have to analyze it. I know this sign looks kind of funny, but these are, these are, uh, you know, very square and level to the ground. Uh, this one's a little crooked. <laughs> that does look funny, but um, anyway, you can do this uh, vertically with two pictures on top of each other. So if you have more sky on one picture, and then say you have your horizon, and then you take another picture down here of the ground, you can do the same exact thing and then overlay them vertically. 
I didn't have any pictures like that, so I just went ahead and did one horizontally. But anyway, that's what I have. Um, hope you enjoyed it. And have a great summer.